Have you ever heard of anyone complaining that they feel suffocated in their marriage or in their relationship? Your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friend, your uncle, or even you or your partner. Hi, I'm Monisha Narung. I'm a mindset and relationship coach, a voice artist, a two times author, and an ex-civil servant. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you, I'd like to educate you on why freedom is so important in a relationship. So what exactly is suffocation? Suffocation basically means that you're not getting the air to breathe. And if you can't breathe, you're not getting the oxygen, right? So then you feel suffocated. You feel like if you can't survive, how do you thrive in that relationship? Does that make sense? So when you get into a relationship or into a marriage, it is a commitment between two individuals with um, multiple commitments to each other, to themselves and to others. So it's not just a one is to one. It is usually a eight is to one if you see it this way. So get into a relationship thinking it's not just an I love you versus you love me. You know, it's going to be I love you. You love me. I love me. You love you. I love us. You love us. I love others and you love others. So what have I done here? I've basically accepted that we both have individual an individual life and we're not encroaching upon each other's space. We're giving each other the space, space. That word is very, very important. Even if you're living in a you know, in a small apartment with just a few square meters per person to live in. Give each other the space, not just physically, but emotionally as well. You know, it may sound very simple that it's not just I love you, you love me, blah, blah, blah. It's, it sounds very simple, but try implementing it in your life. Once you do that, see how you both relate to each other so well. Your communication with each other will improve. All right. So try that. And I hope to see a few comments below where you'd share with me how in implementing the same stuff, the eight things that I've talked about, implementing that has really helped you or your friend or anyone. All right. And if uh, you think that you could share some more details of how you improve your freedom in the marriage, go ahead and do that. All right. Thanks a ton for watching. See ya.